Hi, uh, welcome to today's session. In this session, we are going to talk about uh, data types in MATLAB. So we have basically two types of data types in MATLAB. One is uh, basic data type and next we have heterogeneous data type. In heterogeneous data type, we have two types, uh, cell type and structure type. Uh, today we are going to talk about the uh, basic data types. So in basic data types, we have four types of uh, data types in MATLAB. First one is uh, floating point data type. Next we have integer data type, next we have boolean data type and next we have uh, string data type, character data type. So let us uh, uh, discuss about this uh, different data types, basic data types in MATLAB today in this class uh, with some examples. See here uh, I will just define some variable uh, in this command window let us say a equals uh, 10 by 20. So I am giving some fraction here. So we can see we got some result over here that is 0 0.5000. So uh, we should know initially uh, by default MATLAB is uh, taking this uh, variable in what class or it is storing this variable in uh, what format or what data type is assigned to this variable. So we can see that uh, here in workspace. So if you go to workspace in workspace uh, if we observe the class of the variable which has been declared it is double. So from this it's clear that uh, by default the variables what we declare or what we define in command window they will be uh, assigned a double data type and this is one of the floating point data type because in floating point we have uh, two types one is double and another one is a single data type. So by default MATLAB stores uh, the values of a variable in double data type format. So let us uh, check the class of this data type by using an explicit function uh, by name class which is available in MATLAB. So I will use here uh, the function class and I will pass that uh, variable whose uh, class I want to know the data type I want to know here. Okay so this shows that uh, class of A the result what we are able to observe here is double so A has been uh, assigned a double data type by default in MATLAB and we can also convert this uh, data type from uh, one uh, data type to another data type. Uh, for that we have some built in function by name cast in MATLAB. So that function uh, that cast function is going to uh, truncate the values of that variable uh, which comes uh, out of range uh, for defining the new class. So let me show you one example like uh, I want to uh, convert this double data type into single data type. Again single is one of the data type of uh, floating point. So here uh, I will make use of that cast cast off that uh, variable which is double comma in single quotes I need to specify uh, into which data type I want to convert this uh, variable. So I will type here single. So you can see here uh, in workspace, uh, in workspace the answer here, the answer variable right now you can observe here in workspace it is uh, having a class type of single or we can just explicitly observe here by using that class function. Now what is the class of this variable answer ok. So answer is the variable which holds uh, just a prior uh, execution in the command window. So now we can see here uh, it's uh, showing that class as a single. Okay, so uh, from this we got to know that uh, in floating point uh, data type in MATLAB we, we can have a double data type or else we can have single data type. So uh, what is uh, that maximum value of that uh, double data type or the single data type we can have or what is the minimum value uh, which can be assigned for this double data type or single data type. So to know this uh, we can make use of some built in function like uh, before this I will clear the screen. Let us use here uh, double real max of double. Let me use a real max of double. I need to give this within uh, single quotes. Okay now we can see here uh, this is the maximum value which can be assigned in MATLAB for a double data type. Uh, similarly, we can also check the minimum value which will be assigned to this uh, double data type. So you can see here this is the minimum value which can be assigned for uh, double data type. 
in the same way we can also check for a single data type uh, that is uh, one of the floating point uh, data type here in MATLAB so here uh, in basic data types as I said we have four different types of data types floating point we have integer data types we have boolean or logical data type we have and character data type so this is uh, some examples on uh, floating point in this we have seen uh, a double uh, data type and single data type okay uh, let us move on to the next uh, type of data type that is uh, integer data type so i'll clear the screen before we see some example on integer data type see in matlab uh, we can have uh, signed integers and unsigned integers uh, data types and for unsigned integers uh, we can have 8 bit unsigned integer or 16 bit or 32 bit similarly we can also have 8 bit integer data types and uh, 16 bit integer data type 32 bit integer data type so let me show you some example here like uh, for example let us say a equals uh, some uh, value 8 but uh, we can see that by default MATLAB is going to assign a double data type format for this uh, variable uh, whatever we declare but I want this variable to be in uh, integer format so I need to make use of that uh, explicit function if I want to convert that uh, uh, double data into integer data so we have different uh, built-in functions for that i can use let me use like uh, x equals int 8 so i'm converting this uh, variable a into 8 bit integer so i will give here a so now you can see that uh, x is a new variable which is uh, in 8 bit integer of uh, variable a and you can also observe that in the workspace so here in workspace we can see a having class double and x is having class integer 8 okay like this uh, we have uh, so many other uh, integer conversion constructors okay so i will just show you here uh, okay uh, we can see here uh, these are the uh, few available uh, functions in MATLAB uh, we can use this to convert the data type into integer format and you can see here we have uh, unsigned integer 8 bit and same thing for 16 32 and even for 64 and we have uh, 8 bit integer 16 bit 32 and 64 so here we can uh, explicitly uh, declare the variables either in unsigned integer format or uh, signed integer format uh, it may be 8 bit uh, or 16 or 32 or 64 okay uh, if i want to observe the class of a particular variable i can use this function class and i can uh, specify the name of the variable with, as an argument and you can see here the class of x is uh, integer 8 bit integer right so uh, and also as uh, previously we saw the cast function i can use this cast function to convert uh, variables from one data type to another data type so let me uh, do an example like i want to convert this integer uh, 8 bit integer x into a floating point a single so for that i will say let us say y equals cast so i want to convert this x which is 8 bit integer into a floating point single data type okay so this is how I'm using. Now you can see here what is Y here. So Y is nothing but uh, the floating point single data type because we have used this cast function and we have converted this X in 8 bit integer data type into a single floating point data type. And you can see that in the workspace, uh, it is showing single here or else uh, we can just make use of this uh, class function and uh, pass that uh, variable which will show the class of that variable okay so this is about integer data types in matlab and let us move on to the boolean or logical data type in matlab before this i will clear the screen and i will clear this command window with this basic commands okay so now uh, we will talk about uh, boolean or logical data types as we all know boolean uh, it stands for uh, true and false logic so the values uh, usually contains uh, zeros and ones 
0 means false and once 1 means true so here all the values we express or we define in terms of zeros and 1 and uh, this boolean logic or the boolean variables uh, they have the values between 1 and 0 so let me show you some example uh, and define some boolean variable uh, in this matlab so let us say x equals uh, if i say 1 see uh, by default this is going to be in double data type uh, which already we know but i want this to be a boolean data type or logical data type so for that i can just uh, make use of uh, some explicit function like uh, x equals logical and within bracket and i will give here one so now you can see that uh, x is now logical so if you want to confirm that you can just see the class of that variable x here so now the class of this variable x is uh, logical and here i have just assigned some single value for that x you can just you can assign an array of elements maybe one dimensional vector or two dimensional vector which can have uh, uh, any dimensions and the data type is of uh, logical so here let us say one 0 1 0 okay so i am assigning some four uh, values here in a single uh, vector that is x x is an array of four elements and it is of type logical uh, you can see that okay so x is of type logical or else uh, just we will cross check here by using this class function class of x so it is logical and also uh, it's not like uh, uh, i always need to give zeros and ones so here i can also give the values other than zero and one let us see what happens here if i give value like one two three okay one two three and zero just a minute yeah so here even though i have given one two three and zero so one okay zero okay but two and three they are not uh, boolean values logical values but still this uh, logical function it is going to convert the values which are greater than 0 as equal to 1 you can see here so this is how uh, even though we give values other than zeros and ones the values zeros will be taken as 0 and the values which are greater than 0 will be taken as ones uh, this is how this logical uh, function works and uh, this is how we declare logical data types okay and uh, next we'll talk about uh, character data type now so i will clear this screen let me clear the workspace so coming to character data types so here uh, we can use uh, explicit function to define a character or we can just use uh, uh, some string within single quotes okay let me say like uh, x is equal to some string over there like cranes yeah so now you can see uh, the cranes string has been assigned to this uh, x variable and actually the type of class is character class so here uh, it is a character data type because uh, we are using characters here whatever between the quotes they are taken as characters whether it may be a single letter or more than one letter okay or i can also use the care function to create uh, the character data type uh, for example y is equal to care of a so now you can see here uh, a is a character function and whatever we give within that uh, argument it will be treated as an uh, character data type so uh, we should be uh, familiar with this data types uh, before uh, we work on these uh, variables as uh, uh, their, their data type is very important when we are performing operations on the variables okay fine um, when we are performing operations on the variables so this is about uh, basic data types so we'll talk about uh, heterogeneous data types in the next upcoming sessions Thank you.